the internal structure of these apartments and then up that we were given the uh, almost full plan of the of the building from uh, from the basement to, to the top floors with the internal arrangements that were found to be quite accurate of what's going uh, within the apartments and some more information about the routines. On April the 10th, they will meet in Golda's office to lay the plan before her. With her approval, the operation will proceed. On the evening of April the 11th, 1973, Operation Springtime of Youth begins. Supported by the Navy, a special commando unit makes its way towards the shores of Lebanon. Mossad agents are waiting for them on the beach to drive the commandos to their target. From
which list grows ever short. With the elimination of the Beirut headquarters, Ali Hassan Salome, the Red Prince, moves up in the rankings of the PLO. For Harari, catching Salome becomes a top priority. While some in Israel call for the killings to stop, Harari is determined finally to cross the name of the Red Prince from the list. The failure exposes Mossad's actions in Europe. Golda Meir immediately recalls Harari to Israel. The operational disaster in Norway sends shockwaves through the international community, placing Israel in an extremely tight spot. Dolder calls for Mossad agents home, not just from Europe, but from other countries as well. The pace of assassinations is slowed down. Mossad cannot survive another fiasco. Golda Meir remains Prime Minister until 1974, when she is succeeded by Yitzhak Rabin. On December 8, 1978, Golda Meir dies. Thousands come to pay their last respects to their Jewish mother. But despite her departure, her legacy of revenge lives on. Her successors will not rest until Golda's list is completed. 